On the first day of the first month of spring, a child was born. A girl child named Bridget. In the first ray of sun on that first day of spring, it reached out and touched her forehead. And from her forehead, a flame arose in response, igniting the air around her, making it blaze. The flames did not hurt the child. Her mother, though, her mother was not the nurturing kind. The babe was suckled by a white cow of the other world. And she studied and learned and grew in the other world. And came back to this world when she was ready. Full of knowledge and generosity and the fire to share it. A healer, a smith, a brewer. Training those she encountered, those who were willing to learn. She was unfailingly kind and generous. But she also had a deadly edge. One you wouldn't cross. After all, her mother was not the nurturing kind. Some say that it was the eve before a great battle. And the Dagda, the father god, the good god, good at everything, generous, bountiful, kind. He was worried about the battle to come. And he went to seek the goddess of battle rage herself, the Morrigan, and ask for her favor in the fight. Beg her to bless the two of the Danon so that they might be victorious. Now she saw him coming. They'd known each other of old. And she said, you may have my favour if you please me. But I'm not going to make that easy for you. And she stood with her legs on either side of a river. And she said, try now and please me if you can. And there she stood in the middle of the rushing flood. And there on the bank stood he, a moment perplexed. But then, he thought, he went upstream, disrobed, lay back in the water, and into the air he raised his great club. And his great club and he let the river carry him down to where she stood with her legs wide open and there he stopped. And there he pleased her well. Because he'd kept up his side of the bargain, she gave him her favor, she gave him her blessing, and the two of the Danon were victorious in their fight. With her on their side, the battle crow, raining down fire and blood and terror on their enemies. And some say that her belly grew after her day with the Dagda, and that she gave birth on the first day of spring to a beautiful baby girl, and a ray of sunlight that hit the child's forehead ignited the air all around her.